once again, every year, every year, it's the same damn thing. E3 come, E3 go. And the weeks before E3, everybody's making their videos. Oh, I'm so hyped for E3, it's gonna be great. They're gonna show everything. Microsoft is gonna dominate, Sony's gonna dominate, Nintendo's gonna dominate. All of these companies are going to show us all the great stuff. E3 is gonna be the most fantastical, swagalicious thing that happens this year. It's always E3, 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 and then the Tuesday afternoon, the week of E3, it's E3. Why E3? Why? And I keep trying to tell ya, I didn't say anything before, I was, I was avoiding the E3 hype train. I did not want to make a video on it. I did not want to make a video with predictions or getting my hopes up because I knew, I knew that this is where we're going to be right now when these people are now just bitching and complaining and talking about how much E3 sucked and it was the most terrible thing and how every conference sucked. And oh my god, they didn't show me anything I wanted to see. Oh, it was disastrous. Oh, it was disgusting. Oh, how the deplorable. Now obviously all three companies are going to have their defenders. You're going to have your Microsoft people going, Microsoft won! Yay! You're going to have your companies going, Sony won! Yay! You're going to have your people saying, oh look Nintendo, they did some really good stuff. Yeah! Or whatever. And then you're going to have the Xbox people saying, ah, oh, Sony and Nintendo suck. Then you have the Sony people saying, ah, oh, no, the Wii, we won E3. We're the winners. Ah, oh, we're getting Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yeah, oh, nobody gives a shit. But anyway, so it's like, it's always, this is always how it happens. I've seen it every year for the past few years since I even started making videos, even before I started making videos. And I've been with YouTube since the beginning, ladies and gentlemen, since near the inception, ended 2005, beginning 2006, that's pretty much 2006 when I started my channel. I didn't really do what I'm doing now when I started the channel, but it was all there, and I saw it then, and I see it now, and I see the same thing over and over, these people just sitting there and cheering E3 and then crying because none of their expectations were met. Because you are stupid enough to have expectations out of E3, you deserve to have your feelings hurt. Alright? I don't feel sorry for any of you, because I warned some of you in the comment sections. I told you exactly what was going to happen to E3, what they're going to do. And, you know, E3 last year was... Last year E3, everything was like, 2015. So what happened this year with E3? 2016. And as far as I can tell... Correct me if I'm wrong with this, but we're about to go from now until the holiday season with nothing. Nothing. I don't remember seeing PlayStation telling me that I'm going to get any games this summer. I mean, okay, there are probably games coming out, but, you know, they didn't advertise those. They're not going to advertise those. Microsoft probably got games coming out this year in the summer between now and fall, but they're not going to advertise those. Nintendo, I don't have to tell you. But yeah, that's basically how it is. So everybody who went and they're like, Oh, E3 is going to be so hype. Oh, it's going to be great. Oh, it's going to be the most spectacular thing in all time. How do you feel now? How do you feel now? I bet you feel embarrassed. I bet you feel stupid. That's why I don't go into E3 with any expectations at all. And I was not disappointed. I, I looked at stuff for E3 and I was like, The only thing I cared about, I will say this, the one thing I cared about, the one thing I wanted to know, the one thing I wanted to hear about, and that was the release date for Xenoblade Chronicles X, and thankfully they didn't announce that. Sadly, it's not until like the end of the year, December 4th of this year, but hey, that just means I can focus on beating a bunch of other games I need to get through, you know. I, I still got a bunch of old games I want to play through. This gives me time to play older games because I am collecting, you know, older games and stuff like that. 64 games. I'm looking for other games this same thing. I'm just looking for older games I haven't had a chance to play before, and I'm gonna play those. And I have plenty of time now because, like I said, the only game I was even looking, the only game I was really looking forward to 
this year when Zebra Comics X. Thankfully, it's coming out, so I'm happy about that. That's going to be great. So, can't wait for that. You will not see me for like a long time after that game comes out because I'm going to dive into that shit and who knows what, what's going to happen or what I'm going to look like when I come out. So, can't wait for that. Totally can't wait for that. Maybe I'll pick up Star Fox. At least that's coming up on Star Fox. Did I say Star Fox? Star Fox on the way. Anything else I can think of? We'll see. So, like I said, this is what you get for having your hopes up, people. It's all your fault. All right. See you guys later.